Hello! Cheap Ario here with another figure unboxing. Today we're doing Sonic the Hedgehog, the Egg Mobile set. So, in terms of trying to buy a Sonic figure, I wanted something that really captured in one figure alone my entire relationship with Sonic, what I thought Sonic represented in a toy form for the entire franchise. And Sonic going against Robotnik and his egg hovercraft, or his egg, uh, kind of like his egg battleship, really represented everything that represents Sonic for me. So when I saw that they had just released this, I think this was probably a December 2022 release, I had to have it. So growing up, back in the 90s, there wasn't really any Sonic toys. There was really only the Sonic toys that came out for McDonald's for the Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 game. And in that collection, they had this as like a little toy car. And that's all you had for Robotnik in his little egg hovercraft. And this is a representation of Robotnik as you see him in kind of the boss battle in the original Sonic the Hedgehog video game. So growing up, I was like, wow, wouldn't it be great to release Sonic toys and to have Eggman and his little egg battleship, wouldn't that be great? And to have the little ball that drops down to be able to swing at Sonic, wouldn't it be great to have that? And then 30 years later is when they finally released that toy. Now, it's my understanding that they have done iterations as far as being statues. And for Sonic Boom, they did release kind of a smaller scale version of it for Eggman and his battleship. But this is the first time we've really given it good attention. So we're going to unbox it today. As you can see, um, they've got the different modes on the side here. Of You can do different attachments to make it look, uh, or the different battle modes that you had them in different boss battles throughout the Sonic games. So, of course, to give it a better look, the standard hovercraft. Then there's the kind of, um, there's the ball that hangs that he kind of swings and it hits you with if you're playing uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. Helicopter, a drill, a, a hammer. And then he, uh, and the final image down here, if you can see that, um, it, it looks like it can, can like has an action feature that Sonic, when he hits it, can pop apart. So it's almost like a like a game, almost like a board game of sorts. They've released a couple of these um, that have uh, sound effects. This one doesn't, but there's sound effects and there's different play features that it's almost like a play set, play set slash uh, slash board game. Um, and so it's not just a set of figures. It's also got all these action features inside. And in terms of this, this particular release, um, I've seen it in stores, uh, but people are always picking it up. So I saw it on Amazon. I think it was about $31.99 or so. You can get a look at the back. You can get a look at more of a closer picture of what's in the box. And at the bottom here, it shows different figures. Um, in terms of Shadow, Tails, Eggman again, Knuckles, and then some of the, the play sets that have come out. And your mileage may vary with these play sets. Some of them aren't so great. I believe this is selling for 20, sorry, I think it's actually selling for 15 bucks on Amazon right now. Um, but um, that is the Studiopolis zone. Um, did I get that right? Yep, the Studiopolis zone play set. Uh, they've got a couple of those, some look better than others. And of course, there is the classic Sonic image on one of the sides, and then the classic, yep, the classic Sonic logo. So without further ado, let's get this open and find out what's in the box. Oh, there's a lot of accessories here. You can see that right there. Ooh. Got the instruction manual. And unfortunately, these are like 2.5 size. Uh, figures. I wish they were a little bit bigger than that, but I mean, that's good enough. I mean, they're, they're more miniaturized than I was hoping. Um, and really, I think we have to take a look at the game again, but I don't remember. Sonic shouldn't be that big in comparison to Robotnik. Robotnik should be bigger. But um, I'll pull them out of the bag. It looks like Sonic has a, a mean expression, like a like really into business. And it looks like a really great interpretation of Sonic, or the classic Sonic. 
Then here is the Eggmobile. The Hovercraft is really one of the major reasons why I bought this set. Because again, I have been dreaming of owning this in this format for so long. Uh, let's see, 2022, Jack Pacific, Sega. Uh, it looks like it's got a peg on the bottom to connect to a, some type of post. So you can have it in like a, a battle mode hovering. So, um, and there is a peg in the seat, which I'm assuming Robotnik sits on. Let me just go ahead and get him open while we're at it. Because I'm really excited to see him in the hovercraft. Uh, literally, this is the toy that I've been wanting for so long. All right. There he is. Robotnik, or sorry, Eggman properly. All right, there, and he got some posing. His arms don't twist, but his, uh, I'm sorry, his hands don't twist, but his arms do. And his legs have all different types of posability. So let's see, there's a peg down here. Post out his legs. Definitely an Eggman. Um, I don't know how, oh, he kind of, the peg goes down when he sits down. So uh, that's how he kind of sits firmly in a pod. So the peg that I showed you earlier on the seat just pushes down when you sit Robotnik in. Um, and then there's all these accessories. And let me see if I can just pull them all out. Uh. Botnik here. Okay, this I'm assuming is the um, uh, kind of that um, translucent, almost to give the impression that he's hovering. Uh, I'm sure this is the the base. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to rip it open. Haven't looked at the instruction yet, instructions yet. All right. Let it kind of pop in a little bit better. This is, I was hoping for a popping sound. There we go. Uh, does it kind of... Maybe I did that wrong. I'm sure I did that wrong. Can it? Hmm. I have to figure that out. Anyway, let's continue with the unboxing of the different accessories. There's the helicopter. There is the hammer. And there's something else in there. More hammer. Oh, this is the drill. Drills, drill bits. These are. Um, if you see there, uh, it's almost like an extension to the hovercraft. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like more hammers and such. So that appears to be all the accessories. There's the other hammers. Um, let's see if we can at least get Sonic out of his bag. I'm not going to do all the accessories. I'm just going to do one um, due to uh, time. But let it let us see. How Sonic looks because he is the main attraction and he's looking good he's got that like game on let's do this Robotnik let's do this Eggman look at that probably one of the best figures in terms of the expressions now you can buy Sonic like this there's the back of him uh, a bunch of different 2.5 inch versions of Sonic you can go to uh, five below right now and get a bunch of 2.5 inch Sonic, but they're not going to have that really business looking, that game on looking face. So, really cool um, figure. Is he going to stand? Come on, Sonic. All right. There we go. So, let's see what the instructions before I start just slapping things together without looking. And, okay, so that goes that way. Oh, this goes... <laughs> uh, why isn't it, like, not doing it? 
There we go. You gotta, you gotta get that, that snap, that perfect, that perfect pop. And then he's on this swivel arm. That's pretty cool. That really, I wish um, Robotnik, maybe it's supposed to be like, so he can get hit and he'll shake around. I wish he fit a little bit firmer in there. It's kind of bobbling back and forth. Um, but, you know, it's Sonic's going to hit him. So there's the hovercraft. Um, let's do the classic ball more than anything. So again, you've got all these accessories, guys. I don't want to keep you guys here long. You've got all these cool accessories. You've got like all these extenders and pieces like that. Um, but let's do the classic like little bowling ball thing because that's what I like to see. From the what I remember, one of the first things you see from the game in terms of a boss battle. There we go. And let, there we go. Does it drop? No, he just kind of, you know, just kind of swings it. Do, 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 do. All right, now, ooh, Sonic, I'm going to move these accessories out a little bit. And so if you, I'm sorry, let me show you guys. There's instructions. Uh, it's just on one side, the other side's blank on how to build the different iterations and versions of this, um, what they call the egg mobile. So this is the egg mobile. Um, this is the egg wrecker. And then like when it's got the, the large hammer, it's the egg hammer, hammer time. So, um, boo -boo -boo. if it gets hit, Oh, that's why he's got the peg at the bottom. That action feature. So, say Sonic is giving his battle mode pose. He's not going to have it. He's in game on mode. He's facing against Robotnik. He does his little spin dash. Pop. And then, oh, I'm about to knock it myself. Give Sonic a little bit of assist. Hits it. Boom. And so when you have all the accessories like the hammer, the drill, all that stuff connected, um, all the different pieces come flying because they're all on like little different pegs that when you tap the, the this glass window, it interacts with those different accessory connections. Everything just pops as if the entire Eggmobile is being demolished. So that's pretty cool, guys. Um, again, I'm not going to show you guys all the accessories, um, but I will give you uh, kind of a, a last look at um, the Eggmobile um, in its glory. Highly recommend this, especially if you find it on Amazon. Um, uh, uh, again, it's probably harder to find in stores. You might get lucky. I did see it in Target today. Snap him back in. I did find him in, uh, find this in Target today. Um, I found it in Walmart as well, uh, so they are appearing in stores, but there's only one. Um, so whoever buys it, you're out of luck. So if you're at a fellow on Amazon, I didn't see the price of Target and Walmart in stores, but uh, again, if you find it on Amazon, it's about 31, 32 bucks. Um, and I find that to be a completely fine deal for all the accessories that you're getting. Look at that. That really is just a perfect recreation of the video game. And uh, to have this little arm pose like this, that feels really good. Just really cool. Oh, and it, it poses all the way higher. So you can knock him back and he comes in down. So it's full 360 degree motion. This is like a flight stick, guys. Pretty darn cool. Um, and again, as far as this being a, um, there are plenty of 2.5 inch Sonics that are just like this, but you're not going to get that super cool face that really like he's in a mood right now um just really got uh, uh this is probably one of my favorite different sculptures um of sonic for a figure version just a perfect recreation of um him as he appeared in sonic one through three and he's got great posability of his legs and feet and uh you just got to kind of see here pull this back um yeah he's seen he stands he stands really good so um, now, if you were to pull Robotnik out of his 
uh, his Eggmobile and stand right next to it. Again, I think the proportions are a bit off, um, but stands fine. Looks great to, to display. You don't necessarily need Eggman in his Eggmobile, even though it really looks even better with him in the Eggmobile, of course. So highly recommended. Again, guys, if you were to ever buy just one Sonic figure ever, like I know people are would say, oh, you got to buy Super Sonic. Uh, you know, you've got to buy this, you've got to buy Knuckles. Like, no, to, to me, if you're just, if you don't want to care about collecting, but you really want to celebrate Sonic, this is the toy that I would buy that represents my childhood, that represents Sonic. This is Sonic as you see him in Sonic 1 through 3, uh, and Sonic and Knuckles. Um, this is how you see him in, uh, was it Sonic Mania and Sonic Generations? This is Sonic that I grew up with. Um, and with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Highly recommend you go out and buy this. And I will see you guys next time for the next figure unboxing. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!